Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door and barn door treasures, which is on eBay. Um, I'm working in my ring binder journal and as you can see, I've got all the pages put in here and I have around 40 pages plus the couple of little extra goodies um, that I showed you that um, I was going to put in here. So, but I wanted to talk to you about um, what you do with pages that you love what's on the front of them, but then you turn them over and they're ugly. You know, they're just plain or they have ads on them. If you, you know, if you get a page from um, like a magazine or something like that, or it just doesn't match the theme or the vibe that you're trying to um get in your journal so there's a few different ways and i mean i know we all know how to do this we all know how to collage on them or whatever but i thought i'd show you some other ways that i use uh, to cover up you know the the pages that i don't like for instance i get this home and farm magazine i think it's a quarterly thing um, and we get it through our insurance company which is um farm bureau and I always like to flip through these because a lot of times there are some images and some script or some wording that I can use, that I can cut out and use in my journals. And so I've already gone through this one and I've taken out everything that I wanted. I think I have, yep. And so I'll just throw that away. But I came across this in, this, in, in that little quarterly and I really really love this I think this is so pretty um, it's very simple but it also could give you that barn vibe vibe you know because it's got the little um, the little manger and um, you know it speaks of Christ and the glow I love that and I love what it says if you want to give light to others you have to glow yourself absolutely love that and then at the bottom it says may every light this holiday season remind us of him who is the source of all light. Merry Christmas. So this is definitely going into my journal. Um, and I'll get rid of this part here. No big deal. But then you turn it over and, you know, you have the contents of the magazine. <laughs> well, I don't really want that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this down to my eight and a quarter tall by six and a half wide. Like so. And then I also found in the ideals books that we went through in, I think it was the last video, um, and I found this, and I believe that this is a Grandma Moses painting. Um, it doesn't have that on here, and I didn't think to look in the magazine at the time to see if it told me who the artist was, but just by looking at it, it, it looks like a Grandma Moses. So I didn't want to cut it, so what I did was I just made a pocket and a little flap here okay so that would tell me that my rings or my you know my holes punched would need to go in this side so that I can have this piece but on the back I mean yeah the little girl's cute as a button she is but she doesn't really go with what I want for um for this journal so I'm going to show you a couple of things that we can do now y'all know that I love to collage but I'm just not I want to do something different than collage on these. And so I was trying to think, okay, what can I do different on these? And then I thought, we all have a whole bundle of fabric. <laughs> so let's make a fabric page. So I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to make a fabric page and um, how fun it's going to be uh, to be able to do that. Now, because this is a magazine page, you know, it's not as sturdy as like a cardstock would be or something. So I'm going to, I'm going to take um, a piece of cardstock or craft paper or some kind of something that's just a little bit thicker to give this some stability. And we're going to make a page out of it. Um, let me just grab my paper and I'll show you. So I just took a piece of scrap cardstock that I had and I cut it down to size to fit my page here, okay? So now I'm gonna lay my page to the side and we're gonna pick which fabric we want to use. 
So I have some super cute fabrics that go with the farm. I love this one. It's got the pretty churches on it. Here, I'll zoom in a little further so you can see a little better. Hopefully, I didn't make you dizzy. Yeah, so I love this one. And then I have this one, which I adore. I think this is so stinking cute with the trucks and the barn and the trees and the little um, baskets of goodies. I love that one. And then I have this one. I just have a little strip of this one, so I'm going to use this as like a belly band or something in the journal. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then I have this one with the trucks and the dog and the presents and the tree and the truck. Love that one. But ultimately, I think this one is the one that spoke to me the most. I looked for this one last year. Um at Hobby Lobby, um, if you want to get good Christmas fabrics, you have to go in like June or July. I believe it's July to get those because they will sell out um, before the Christmas season of, you know, a lot of their stuff. So I, the year before, I had saw this and I fell in love with it and I looked and looked and looked in the store and finally I found somebody who worked there and she said they had sold out of it very quickly. So and she gave me that tip that if you want to get, you know, good holiday things at Hobby Lobby, um, go in July. Because that's when they start getting their Christmas stuff. So, I'm going to put, I'm going to make a fabric page with that fabric on this paper. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a piece um, that I have uh, ripped to fit the page and I actually ripped it in the wrong way but it was kind of a happy accident because I think I can add some other pretty elements to it so I'm going to glue it down and I only glued it in kind of the center because I want to stitch around um, the page and then I grabbed some of my black uh, buffalo check ribbon and I thought it would be cute a really cute accent to add up here so what I do is I take this had wire in it it was a wired ribbon so I just scoop this down a little and just pull that wire right out and that way it feels like a piece of fabric or a piece of trim and it doesn't have the wire in it so I just um, glued everything down and I ran it through my sewing machine and I wanted um, some messy stitching so I just ran it through a couple of times on the sides and then the only other thing I want to do is just kind of add an element up here in the corner and so I picked some of the ele elements from um, the ring binder kit that I had printed um, when I printed the pages and so I took this label that's in the kit and then I cut out this little um, piece it was on a bigger piece but I just kind of wanted this to be the focal point. So it was on this little piece here. Um, you know, it was like the whole little tag kind of thing. But I just wanted the, the sentiment. So I just um, tore that out around it. And I think I'm going to put it here. And then just kind of, um, I think I'm just going to glue this in the center. And run some stitching around it again. So I just stitched around the edge. Just a quick little stitch and stitched around the edge of this. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine or if you don't like to sew, I totally get it. <laughs> Just make sure you glue everything down good. So now I have my page finished. So then I'm going to bring the original page back in and we're going to glue these together. So you glue it down just like so and then you punch your holes and it's a little bit harder to punch a hole through with the fabric with a hole punch so if you have a crocodile or something like that it might work a little easier for you then the next thing i'm going to do is because this picture is a little bit too wide for my ring binder journal so that's why i kind of placed things the way i did because i'm going to fold this piece right down through here so i'm just going to take my ruler i'm going to line my page up on the squares you know on the angles um, just to make sure I've got it straight and then I'm just going to go to the very edge of the label there and just fold 
Okay, now I actually want to fold it the other direction. Um, so I'm not going to really fold and crease there because what I'm going to do is just go, go backwards with it. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure I line it up over here and get a good straight fold. And then I'm going to burnish it a little. Just like so. And then I'm going to pull my journal over. And I already know where I want it, which is here. And so I have my holes punched in this side. Ooh, that might be a bad thing. Didn't think about that. Hmm. Well, let's just see how it's going to work. Just put it in there. See, that's not going to work. So I may have to fold it a different way. I don't know. I'll work on it. But anyway, that kind of gives you the idea of, you know, how you can cover up a, you know, a not so pretty page and make a pretty uh, fabric page. Um, so I have one more. I think we might have time to do it. So it's this Grandma Moses page. And you can either put fabric on the back of it. If you do, you probably wouldn't have to add anything to that. Just put the fabric like I did in the first one. Um, but I think I want to put, um, y'all know my love for wrapping paper. And I have this beautiful wrapping paper that's just, it's farm all the way. So I am going to, all I'm going to do is get enough to go on this top section. Um, because this pocket's going to be folded up. So there's not going to be a point in putting any on the bottom section. So um, you just want to cut wherever your pocket's going to show. Now I'm going to put some over here. Because this will show, you know, when you unfold it. Okay. Now, wrapping paper can be a little fiddly to work with. So, I went ahead and I tore out a piece um, that I thought would work. And we're just going to get it glued on. So, I glued it down. And I just used my little gift card and rubbed over it to make sure, you know, that I get out all of the bubbles. And then I'm just going to make my fold again. And so it folds into the wallpaper. Get that straight. And then you have a pretty page on this side. And then when you flip it over and you flip up in the flap, you have a really cute page on this side too. So those are just some, um, some ways to use your fabric to decorate a page. You can decorate up the pocket with fabric. Y'all know there's all kinds of things you can do with fabric so but i just wanted to share my process with y'all today i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment box below don't forget to like and subscribe for me you can go follow the links that pop up on the video and i hope y'all have a wonderful day big hugs